Our next example is uh, doing this for basically expressing an exponential model in base e. So you can see y is equal to a uh, b to the x power is equivalent to y is equal to a e to the natural log of b power times x. And it should make sense because uh, we've worked with logarithms enough. We know that the natural log and e are inverse operations. And if you take e to the natural log of b power, that's basically going to be an equivalent of b. So that's why those things are interchangeable. So this first part of the question, I don't really like too much, but we'll do it anyway, example six. So we're just gonna rewrite this. This is apparently the model that we can use to predict the world's population. Uh, this is of course in billions. So uh, let's see if we can't use it. Well, first of all, we'll rewrite it. So we'll basically say this, it's gonna be uh, the same two decimal five, six, nine. And then instead of using this right here, that's actually going to be our b, so what we'll do is we can say e to the natural log of that number, 1.017x power. So that's uh, the, another model that we can use. Uh, this is basically the exponential model with base e. So that's fantastic and all, but what we're actually going to do is we're going we're gonna to check out this a little bit more. So first of all, we can figure out what the world's population is in 1949. And we'll do that by plugging in zero. Well, this right here, when you uh, multiply that by a zero, I mean raise that to the zero power, you'll get one. So we're actually going to get to uh, 0.569. Now, remember this is in billions, so it's important to realize what you're talking about. There's obviously not 2.569 people in the world at in the year 1949. There's actually 2.569 billion. And what we're going to do is we're just going to play around and see, does this model really work for what we're dealing with today? So first of all, we're going to figure out what we're going to plug in. So I'm going to say 2014 this year, minus 1949. So I need to borrow 9 and 10, I guess. I may have butchered this, but we'll see. It's been a while since I borrowed. Okay, 65 years, and we'll just go use the calculator since I just absolutely butchered that on the board and see if that's the same thing. So 2014 minus 1949. Hey, looks like I got it right. Thank goodness. All right, so we're going to take that 65, and now we're just going to plug that into our equation. I'm actually going to use this one right here. It's given to us. So what I'll say, uh, g of 65 is equal to 2 decimal 5, 6, 9, and then raised to the 65th power. All right, back to our calculator, and we'll see if that's uh, going to work out for us. So 1 decimal 0, 1, 7 raised to the 65th power, and then we're going to multiply that by two decimal five six nine and we get basically this looks like we'll do it to three decimal places so seven decimal six why's my pen not working eight and I forgot got distracted looks like five and again this is in terms of billions so it's actually going to be uh, the value in billions. And what we're going to do is we're just going to see how accurate that might be. Now granted we are going to use the internet but you can see we got uh, 7.685 billion and what they tell us is it's 7.125 billion. And that's of course in the year uh, 2013 so we're one year later so it's a pretty reasonable estimate that uh, the world's population would increase another that many over the course of one year. So fun times working with uh, exponential growth.